Ashi Agrawal. I'm a dietitian and nutritionist by profession. I belong to the 1992 batch of uh, Xaviers. Uh, I think it was the third or the fourth uh, batch after the first batch. So I feel very proud of being the initial Xavierite. All my teachers were my favorite teachers. And to be very honest enough, I'm in touch with all of them. So it's a proud moment for me that they still have their blessings on my head and I'm able to follow the same ethics that they imbibed in me during school days, even today. If I have to look for any guidance, I still look up to them. I can't say if I had any favorite subject, but definitely I didn't like some of the subjects, especially they were algebra, that were, there was geometry, and uh, there was history and geography. These were the four subjects which I never liked, rest and even physics for that matter. So these were the five subjects which I never liked. Rest all were, you know, fine for me. Our whole group, uh, the 1992 batch, we are still in touch with each other. I think almost uh, 80 to 100 of, of us friends from the same batch were in touch with each other. Uh, and honestly speaking, when I was in 10th, I, I just knew people from my class. I didn't knew people from the other class. But post school, when we came together, when we uh, you know, uh, uh, went together for picnics. I even knew students, I, uh, my colleagues from other classes and today we are almost a group of 80 to 100 uh, friends uh, from school. Being a Xavierite uh, means a lot to me. I remember uh, you know, my chairman Dr. A.F. Pinto who has given us a lot of uh, ethics to us. He's told, he, he used to tell us stories and through those stories there was always a message. Uh, Ma'am Grace Pinto, uh, she also regularly visited us and there was so much uh, message that she would give to us in an indirect way. So it is, uh, it is upon us how do we take those uh, stories or how do we take those messages into us and uh, imply in our lives. So I feel that not only our teachers but our chairman, our uh, Madam Grace Pinto, uh, whatever they have said, we have been able to uh, you know, take up the, uh, the crux or the meaning out of it and we have been able to imply it within us and that is where the ethics basically imbibed by Xavier, by Xavier School, by Dr. A. Pinto, by Madam Grace Pinto, that is where we imbibe those ethics in us and that is where we stand today.